Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fango here, to review episode 11 of Dame X Prince Anime Caravan. So, with episode 11, which we have only one episode to go next week, but for this one, well, we got to see the weird guy with the snake that we saw in the previous episode, and he's like the leader of this weird organization thing called Kara something, that, like, Mare mentioned something towards the end of the episode, and they've just been infiltrating the whole, like, castle since... Forever, pretty much, because there were people who used to live in Cell and Fallen, and then they left, and Trom was kind of leading them in. It's weird, okay? Like, I I thought it was dumb. I was just like, that's stupid, but okay. So in this episode, though, Prince Ryuze gets used by this perfume. It makes him just like, you know how anime characters lose, like, all soul in their eyes? You know, that's what happened to him. And so he was just like, yes, Prime Minister, yes, I will do whatever you say, yes, sir. And I'm just like... Okay, so, uh, Princess Ani, though, meanwhile, with Nanak and Teo, she figures out, oh, wait, this is, because Mare figured out in this book that you need this thing to cure the thing, and then she had it, they got it, it's great, and I'm just like, this is, uh, kind of boring, but the best part of the episode is definitely kind of towards the end, where you get the whole, like, brotherly love between Prince Ryuze and Mare, and it's like, it breaks him out of his trance and everything, and yeah, de -de 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 -de. and I'm just like, you know, you realize that right now, um, Inako is getting attacked by Melodonia, right? Um, <laughs> because apparently the secret organization, uh, were the ones to set off the bombs that happened, and they said, oh, it was Melodonia who did this, and I actually thought Melodonia was coming to attack them, but no, I was wrong, it's just this weird organization that did it because reasons, uh, it's weird. But, um, yeah, they got Ryuzi out of the trance, they got everybody else out of the trance, he used his smiling powers to make everybody okay and then Krom saved him from all the destruction and stuff and he I don't think Krom's dead there's no way he's dead from just that but it, it would be kind of funny if he was because it's like oh look here's this anime that's not about death or anything but hey that guy's dead <laughs> uh, I'd laugh kind of because I'm just like yeah he died protecting the one he wanted to overthrow Ha! <laughs> Take that crop. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so it, that melodramatic crap at the end, though, with, like, crop possibly dying, I was like, that's dumb. Why are you like this anime? <laughs> and we don't even learn the name of this guy with the snake. Like, we don't even see his face or anything. He's got the word mask on. He's just, like, he talks like a chuni or whatever, a chunibio or however you say that word. I'm just like, what is he, a chuni? Like, what the heck? Um, but yeah, that was weird, and, uh, that's pretty much the entire episode. We did see Nautic, though, at one point blush when he was, like, um, really hungry. I thought that was cute. And then at one point we saw Nautic in different clothes. Just, he still had the boa, but I was like, man, you look good in those clothes. That ain't a half bad look for you. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so the final episode seems it's gonna be about them figuring out what they're gonna do about Melodonia attacking Inako, and I feel like it's gonna be up to Nautic to stop his dad from actually attacking, um, possibly. I don't know exactly how. Maybe he'll go to his dad and be like, Dad, stop! No! Because I love Princess Ani! I don't know. <laughs> That'd be kind of interesting, but I highly doubt with how this series goes that's going to happen. I highly doubt it. But it would be interesting, that's for sure. But, be one episode left. I'm very curious how it's going to go down, because I'm like, I know they're going to stop Melodonia from attacking Inako. I know they're going to do that. But it's just about how they go about it, and, hmm... I think, I think it's gonna have to do something with, like, like, maybe a marriage proposal, or, you know, bringing two countries together, between Ani and Nautic, but I could be wrong, maybe I just wishful thinking, but, um, overall, this episode is meh, at best, it had its, it was alright, you know, so, we have one episode left, so, what do you guys think is gonna happen in the final episode, and I will see you guys in whatever I review next, bye!